Hi. So in this video, we will be talking about efficient, efficient frontier. Now, what is frontier? Yeah. So what is efficient frontier? So let's say, uh, let me give you the example. So this will make things clearer. Suppose there are six portfolio, portfolio A, and if you see, it is giving you expected return of 8%, while risk associated is 5%. If we see B, now risk has increased and return has decreased. So certainly we won't be investing in this portfolio. Now, if we compare from B to C, the risk level is same, but the return has increased. So C is better than B. So in this case also, we won't be preferring B. We won't be taking B portfolio. Now for D, risk levels are same, but return is higher. So we won't be taking C also. Now for 11% from 7 to 11 although risk has increased but return is same so we won't be taking e also q see what is happening for the same level of risk i am getting relatively lesser return we all know there are three types of individual one is risk averse risk averse is we most of the people are risk averse only we don't take much risk and there are some people who are called risk lovers those who are willing to take a risk more risk more return and there are few people who are called risk neutral they are indifferent but since most of the people are risk averse only and it's an assumption in the economics also people are generally risk averse hence they will compare rationally now again for same level of risk portfolio f is giving me higher return Hence, I won't be preferring E. So we can conclude only A, D, and F portfolio is efficient. Now, here in this video, I will be only be talking about theoretical aspect. In the next part, we will see things happening on Excel, and that will be our main motto. I have tried to draw this efficient frontier through R. Let me show you. Although don't worry about this since this is of no use. I'm just drawing it for understanding purpose. Yeah. Let me just copy it. And let me paste. Where is it? Yeah. So efficient frontier looks like this. If I just this i will show you through excel so things will be much more clearer on x axis we have risk and on y axis we have return if you see b c and d they have same level of risk but return is higher or highest in d similarly e and f f is giving me higher returns with the same level of risk hence i will be preferring f so all those point which are on this efficient frontier are on this frontier are called efficient frontier and all this point which are below this efficient frontier are called inefficient and let's say few points are there let's say g h they won't be ever achieved hence these are called in unattainable frontier i hope things are clearer now let me tell you one more thing this is called global minimum variance risk why? Because it lies on the efficient frontier having the least risk. See, among all the points on the frontier. Okay. In reality, the efficient frontier looks something like this. So, all those points on this frontier are called efficient. Now, let me tell you how to calculate efficient frontier manually. Although we won't be calculating manually since uh, we will be calculating it through Excel, but to understand basically how thing, things go, let's say we have three portfolio case, three portfolios. Then uh, the portfolio risk is generally denoted by this symbol. And this is weight one square, sigma one square, risk of portfolio one. This is the risk of whole portfolio. And this is the weight which we have attached to it. W two square, sigma two square, 
प्लस डब्ल्यू थ्री स्क्वायर सिग्मा थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस डब्ल्यू वन डब्ल्यू टू सिग्मा वन टू प्लस डब्ल्यू वन डब्ल्यू थ्री सिग्मा वन थ्री प्लस डब्ल्यू टू यू डोंट नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस आई विल गिव यू अ शॉर्टकट आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग नोट फॉर द राइटिंग पर्पज टू थ्री प्लस डब्ल्यू थ्री डब्ल्यू वन ऑल दो इट्स ईजियर ओनली इफ यू कैन सी द पैटर्न वट आई एम डूइंग ऑल आई एम जस्ट कॉपी पेस्टिंग फ्रॉम द बुक सो दिस इज टू टाइम्स को वेरियंस टू टाइम्स डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू वन डब्ल्यू टू डब्ल्यू थ्री को वेरियंस बिटवीन वन टू एंड थ्री सो वट इज हैपनिंग सी लेट से आई एम विलिंग टू स्पेंड इन थ्री पोर्टफोलियोज ए बी एंड सी बट सिंस आई हैव माई मनी फिक्सड so i can spend only a certain proportion in all the portfolios so that's the reason summation of weights here i uh, is always equal to 1 let me give you a simpler case for two portfolio case let's say uh, uh, this is represented as w1 square sigma1 square plus w2 square sigma2 square plus 2 w1 w2 covariance between 1 and 2 now if you observe carefully this i said this is weight this is variance this is uh, this is weight for portfolio b let let us give us name this is say this is sbi and the portfolio b is of axis bank so this we can write sbi weight into variance of sbi weight square variance of sbi plus since i said the weights are always equal to 1 so we can just subtract this weight weight sbi into variance of axis bank plus 2 weight 1 is nothing but weight of sbi this is nothing but 1 minus sbi weight into covariance between axis and sbi now this is manual process this we can do for two portfolio for three portfolios but i would suggest to use matrix multiplication which will make our calculations easier although we are doing on excel no doubt still even on the excel you will find it super easy to do through matrix multiplication our whole agenda for understanding multiplication matrix multiplication was to make our life simpler hence you will see the application of matrix multiplication here so how we can write it this is w1 w2 then this is sigma1 square sigma2 1 this is sigma1 2 sigma2 square this is w1 w2 and if you observe carefully these two are same you can't visualize it let me clear let me make it clear so if we multiply this inner part so this is nothing but sigma1 square w1 plus sigma1 2 w2 this is sigma2 1 w1 plus sigma2 square w2 so first row first column since this was two cross two matrix this was two rows one column so this is this matrix multiplication is possible and we are getting two rows one column and we have this and if you observe this is one row two columns one cross two 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 same so at the end we will be getting one cross one matrix so on solving we should be getting sigma 1 square w1 square plus sigma 1 2 w2 w1 plus sigma 2 1 w1 w2 plus sigma 2 square w2 square and there is something called young's theorem young's theorem say this is equal to this so in a way we can write it as sigma 1 square w1 square plus 2 sigma 1 2 w1 w2 plus sigma 2 square w2 square also we know covariance between x and x is nothing but variance of x and so we can write it as sigma 1 w1 square plus sigma 2 square w2 square plus 2 w1 w2 in place of this i am writing it as covariance between 1 and 2 and if you observe it carefully this equation is same as what we have written above Hence, this is how we are getting this. Similarly, for the three 
three portfolio case we can make the matrix multiplication and that's it for the video so this we can write it as w1 w2 w3 then sigma 1 square sigma 2 square sigma 3 square this is nothing but variance only so this is sigma 2 1 sigma 3 1 sigma 1 2 sigma 1 3 sigma 2 3 sigma 3 2 and these are weights w1 w2 w3 and once you will solve it you will be getting our equation only so that's it for the video we will be seeing in the next video how to do on excel